Hello and welcome to the Coffee Cup Visual Site Designer Tutorial number six. I think it's C. It's actually an addendum to six A and B. I kind of went a little bit fast on how to uh, make a a link out of a graphic. And there's actually two ways. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to go over that really quickly with you right now. So that maybe it'll help clear up some of that because I, I did go fast. Okay, so uh, I have a graphic here. <laughs> and I just am using this for demonstration purposes. Now, I believe I said in the tutorials, either 6A or 6B, one or the other, that you take your mouse and you left click your left or you left click the mouse button on the left side okay and you hold and then at the same time you're holding it down you drag it and then you um, cover you know make it go around your graphic and then you can let go and then it forms this blue box you go up to the link and then of course, you create link and then you put your um, URL or however that you wanted, to, you know, page in this website or however you're, you're going to do that uh, to create your link. Now, the other way to do this is you just put your mouse over your graphic, double click, left click, double click. So and there it is again. So then you can go ahead and, and do that uh, with the link and so on. Now this this bunch of <laughs> gobbledygook over here is um, you know sometimes um, people get a little um, I know I've done it many times but in case it ever happens to you and you're um, and and you don't know what to do with it <laughs> like um, let's pretend that you're dragging this graphic somewhere and um, or you're in the process of of you know, putting your box around or whatever, and you decide, well, I don't like it there. Okay, and so you move it and you go, uh-oh, I wanted it back over here. Um, and it's because it's over my text now. You know, what do I do? Well, there's a couple things you can do. You can either just come up here to edit, undo, because as long as you have not clicked save, you'll be fine. Okay, and that way, like if you're really uh, having to do some fine work and you've accidentally moved something or jiggled it a little bit, then um, it's easier just to do the undo. Because as long as you haven't saved anything, you can undo it. Okay, and um, <laughs> so that's, that's the good thing. The other thing that um, I would like to point out to you is if you have a small video, um, of course, you can always go to uh, YouTube and get the embed code from YouTube. But if you have a little video of your own that you have, and it's a, in a Swift, which is um, a flash, it has to be into an XML file before you can get it into Coffee Cup. Now, there is a program, and I absolutely love it. It's called screencast.com. And this is actually uh, from TechSmith. And I don't know if you know, but TechSmith is actually the people that do Camtasia. And it's a very expensive <laughs> program. And um, this screencast is actually free. You uh, sign up for it, and um, you can upload little videos, and you can share it via email or you can embed it onto your um, web page or whatever. So that might be something that you might want to look at if you have a little short um, video or SWIFT uh, that you don't want to have to convert and, and do all that with. You can just go to Screencast and you can put it up and get it onto your website. Now you are limited a little bit in storage, but you know, it's if you the here and there it works really great. So I thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.